Hey everyone, last time we covered some tips for coping with anxiety. Today we're going to look into stress. In my anxiety video, I define stress as a striving to meet a demand. This can be healthy. Having a deadline can make us more motivated and concentrated. And if we didn't have any stress, life would be boring. And fun fact, there was actually an experiment that suggested that people would rather feel pain than be bored. Unhealthy stress exists too. It can be chronic, meaning it's long term, and it'll continue to wear you down. And it can also deplete your motivation and concentration. Four types of stress have been recognized. Time stress, which includes things like deadlines and meetings. Anticipatory stress is future-based dreading. For example, you're afraid that you'll fail and keep on imagining rejection. The third type is situational stress, which is usually found in conflict. An argument breaks out, and the suddenness of it causes you to freeze. The last is called encounter stress. This can vary from the stress of being around people you don't like, people who are unpredictable, or being around people in distress. There are several symptoms to help you recognize stress. They include frequent headaches, heartburn, stomach pain, or nausea. Panic attacks also occur with unhealthy stress. And the last few symptoms are insomnia, fatigue, and irritability. There's this aspect of stress called general adaptation syndrome. It suggests that we cope with stress in three phases. The first is the alarm phase which is our immediate reaction, like our heart racing. The second is the resistance phase, where we adapt and cope to the stress. And the last phase is known as the exhaustion phase. This happens after frequently alerted to different stressors and adapting to them. After a while, you just get exhausted, like the name suggests, and you may not be able to function normally. Here is a general overview on how we feel stress. One, we judge the situation. We look at it to see whether it is threatening to our social status, values, time, our reputation, or survival. If it is threatening, it can trigger our fight, flight, or freeze systems. It can also trigger the alarm phase of the general adaptation syndrome. Secondly, we judge our capabilities to meet the demand of the threat. Resources like time, knowledge, emotional capabilities, energy, strength, and others are considered. Lastly, our feelings of stress will depend on how far out of control we feel and how well we can meet the threat with those resources. As an example, let's say someone has a deadline at school or work. That deadline is the stressor or the threat. It's threatening to our time and possibly to our reputation. Then we judge it against our resources. How much time do we have? If it's two days, we may feel very stressed. But if it's two weeks, we won't feel stressed that bad. Also. Is it an important piece of work, or is it an optional thing we can do as a bonus? If it is really important, it will more greatly affect our reputation than the bonus work, if we fail to complete it. Today we covered healthy and unhealthy stress, stress types, symptoms, and how we feel stress. Next time we'll cover some stress management tips. Thank you for watching, hit the like and subscribe buttons if you'd like more content like this. Please do me a favor and have a good day.